It's no secret that Intel has released some amazing chips this generation. Their performance still managed to outperform AMD in gaming by a significant margin. Plus, the pricing of not only the 13th gen chips themselves, but the overall platform price makes Intel's offering extremely enticing. But there's only one CPU that still haunts Intel to this day, the 5800X 3D. This bad boy forced Intel's hand to make the 12900KF so they could cling on to the gaming crown last generation and a continuation of this technology could be AMD's key to finally taking the crown for good. But how will 3D vCache evolve to meet everyone's expectations? The most notable change we could see is a larger lineup of X3D processors. The lineup could start with some modifications being applied to AMD's current flagship, the Ryzen 9 7950X, evolving into the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. I imagine this will go down the stack and we will get the 7900X 3D, 7900X 3D, and 7600X 3D. This will give us CPUs featuring 16, 12, 8, and 6 cores integrated with 3D vCache. If AMD uses the same tech as last generation, we could see an L3 cache go as high as 192 megabytes. That is over 3 times the current amount of L3 cache on the 7950X right now. Of course, AMD could also use a newer iteration of 3D vCache and support even more memory, but that would also drive prices up, so I can't see AMD going down that path just yet. What they could do instead is allow overclocking, because as we all know that was not available on the 5800X 3D out of the box, or at least until some people and companies found a way around this with some clever BIOS shenanigans. Now, I do have to admit there's only so far we can go with overclocking today's CPUs, but it never hurts to have the option, and AMD has always been in favor of allowing the consumer to have the option available. It only seems like the next logical step for AMD to take, and for some, this could mean a nice jump in performance. For the baseline though, what we can look back at is the 5800X 3D and get an idea where these next generation processors line up. To give you an idea, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D gave us an average increase in gaming of 15%, with the peaks as high as 40% depending on the title. Looking at you, Factorio, this can easily translate to a similar gains for the 7000X 3D chips, if not a little bit more. This would all be worthless though if pricing of these chips were unreasonable. If AMD wants to profit on these CPUs, I can see them pricing out $50 to $100 higher than their base counterparts. With the 7950X 3D releasing at $799 and that 7900X 3D MSRP being $649, being $100 more than the original chips. But the 7800X 3D and 7600X 3D coming at $50 higher at $449 and $349 respectively. And with the holiday season in full swing, there is no way AMD would unveil these new processors to the world now. Instead, CES is looking like a solid opportunity to put them on full display. Then a release in mid to late Q1 would be a perfect window since there seems to be nothing else really going on then. Of course, this is all speculation, but if you want to see what Intel has put out there for real, check out this video that Taylor made about the 13900K, and I'll see you next time.